Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a few other little bits that we bought for the Reefer 350. Um, also, we're going to have a quick look at the corals just now, and then we're going to do the unboxing of what we bought, and also um, how they actually work, and if they work, and uh, my uh, overall impressions. So stay tuned, but I'll just show you quickly on the Reefer. Um, corals are all looking really good. The new purchases that I bought are settling in really, really well. The nano tank is absolutely thriving um, since, I've, especially the uh, the torch coral that I put in there, uh, the dragon soul. Because obviously I told you in my last video that it wasn't doing too good, and I think it might have something to do with the high alk that I run in this aquarium. Um, in there, I'm more than running 8.5. In this one, it's 10 and a half dkh. So that's that's probably the issue, but. Um, so far so good, everything's looking really really well so what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you quickly some of the corals in this tank just as I'm filming this now my uh, reef keeper is doing a test so maybe we'll be able to see what the uh, test results are as well so yeah I'll turn the camera around and we can have a look at the, uh, the aquarium. There we go guys, uh, like I said all the corals doing really really well fish these new monties looking really good really really nice the little euphilia island is doing good really like that the candy canes I cut a little too much of that off um, I only wanted to take a few off, but when I, the way I cut it, I basically snapped it in half. So, a bit disappointed with that, but it'll soon grow back and there's more than enough heads. The other frags are all in the, uh, the, uh, the other tank. But there's my new coddle to the tank. This is a uh, rainbow chalice for all you guys that are a bit unsure of what it is. And it's an absolutely stunning piece to try and get it in focus. Yeah, really, really nice piece. Um, all the others, the mushrooms, these monitors here are all doing really well. Colouring it up really nicely. Um, this dragon's blood chalice is looking super, super nice. Now it's uh, definitely spreading all over that frag plug now. Um, when I bought it, if you look back about five weeks ago in one of my videos, I've shown you exactly what it looked like. But now it's totally night and day to it. But yeah, like I said guys, there's no sign of flatworms or anything like that. I think the little wrasse has done its job. Um, everything else, all the SPS are all looking really, really nice. Really good. Um, polyp extensions are all out on it. The colour. So yeah, I'm thinking that maybe the little wrasse has done its job. And uh, yeah, really happy with the way things are going. I took this frag rack out because I put it in my nano tank. And it looks a lot, lot better, you know, without frag rack. I don't really like frag racks on, but it just looks totally different when you uh, when you don't have a frag rack on and you just actually, all we want to do is just look at our display um, and stuff like that. Quickly, while I'm here, on my last uh, video, I posted that I, uh, my skimmer was going crazy, so I installed a stand, some skimmer stand. Um, I put that in and it seems to be doing the job perfect because as you can see the skimmer is doing what it should do and it's actually settling down now it's not over skimming and it's taking some gunk out as well also the new pump that I've installed for my UV which is just there is working a treat nice flow coming through the uh, as you can see nice flow coming through the pump there and I've also put extra carbon in the uh, in the reactor. I always put my carbon in a bag, guys. Um, don't know about what you guys think, but um, I tend to, for some reason, in the, especially in these NIOS ones, they send, it tends to bulk up. Um, even running at a medium flow, it tends to bulk up and then rises up to the top, and it's like a more like a block as opposed to bubbling up. So uh, yeah, uh, basically, I just tend to stick it in a bag 
turning the flow up a little bit more than what it should be and it seems to do the trick but I put extra in it because of uh, because of the excess nutrients because like I said in my other video this basically was up to here and all of the waste ended up back into my aquarium so needless to say the aquarium was a little peed off with it but it seems to uh, be recuperating and uh, everything's getting back to normal but uh, loving these monitors the bubble coral and also the gold that all these torches are doing really really good so yeah other than that guys everything under the uh, tank and, and the actual tank is uh, is doing really well so what I'll do is um, I'll head back over onto the uh, onto the uh, table and I'll show you what I've bought and uh, do a little bit of an unboxing as well so yeah I'll see catch you in a bit we're back guys uh, these are the products that I've actually bought and as you can see it's another pump this one guys is a nano pump this along with the uh, this VCA uh, utility pump basically what I'm going to be doing with this is this is going to be for the cleaning of the sump um, as you can see we'll do a little bit of an unboxing but so far so good they look pretty decent yeah we'll start with this uh, pump attachment nothing too uh, too big it's just a, a little pump it tells you about it on the back it says that you need to uh, it can be adjusted to the MJC or to a seat J synchro nano so yeah that's why obviously I bought the nano but we'll do a quick unboxing or an unbagging of this and basically this is just the material that you get on um, you know from these uh, from these um, 3d machines that's exactly what the material is it's just a 3d uh, machined laved machine um, nothing too special it's feels that fairly sturdy but other than that it's just a piece of plastic with a little tiny nozzle on the end just here but yeah keep that to one side move that away we're back uh, this is the CJ pump um, just had somebody knock at the door that's why I've uh, had to quickly just go and see who it was but this is the synchro nano this is going to be going on on this or this is going to be going on that what we'll do is we'll just have a quick unboxing of it, see what you get. It's just going to be a very, very tiny pump. First thing in the box is all the accessory parts and stuff like that. you got some rubber feet, um, obviously a nozzle. The good thing with this, guys, is just to mention, is that it's multi-functional uh, pump, this, as well, yeah? So you can run this an in, as an inline or submerged. So basically, you can run this outside of an aquarium. You don't need to run it in your aquarium. Um, that's what you use the, that fitting for. This one is the fitting that you use for when you're putting it in the sump. I'm going to be using it in the sump, so that part is not going to be irrelevant to me. But if you do, if you're limited for space in your aquarium and you've not got any, you know, much space in there, then thinking it's definitely worth looking at getting one of these pumps if it's the size for what you need. And um, like I said, empty them all out. Here's just the rubber feet that go on it. This, like I said, it's just plastic. Uh, this is for the inline, so if you're connecting an inline on it, that's what you do. I'm presuming that this is where the feet are going to attach to, like so. Yep, like that. That's the way they will go. So, just attach them there. Oh, sorry, that's upside down. Just attach it like that. And like so and that's your actual rubber feet connected not that we're going to really use this because um, I'm just going to be basically doing that using it to suck the, the, the thing which I'm going to show you in a bit um, and then we move on to the pump good thing with these seat tray pumps guys is the length the amount of cord that they give you the, the, the cord is incredible the amount of what they give you you're looking at maybe five and a half foot to six foot in length of all these cords so it's well well worth it if I can unwrap it um, well well worth it these cords and these pumps because like I said just look at the size of that you know if you're limited or your pumps areas 
your plug-in area is, is quite a way away from your tank. The length of the cord is incredible, so really good. It's definitely a plus for CJ. Um, and here's the pump, guys. Absolutely tiny, tiny pump. Um, it's amazing that it does 430 litres of hour. This is your minimum and your maximum flow. Uh, your rate. I'm just obviously going to be using it to attach this pump to it. So it's going to be irrelevant. But we'll just take what we'll do is we'll take this off. I'll figure out how to take this off and then I'll put that on on it instead. This take this fitting off. Oh, it doesn't just gonna come. I'm a bit unsure of how it comes undone. I'll read the instructions and just have a look and then uh, I'll get back to you guys. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll uh, you should see when it's all up and running. Cheers. Alright back guys. Uh, just been looking through my box in there. A box of all spares. You sh everybody should have a box of all spares with in this game. And I found this piece of tube in here. Um, wondered whether it would fit on here. And as you can see, it fits absolutely perfect on here. Perfect size for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that like that. We're going to attach this to here, like so. So now, we're basically all up and running. Another tip is what we're going to do. Is we're going to run this back. We're going to run this through into this bag here. This will then catch all the detritus and all the muck and crap out your tank. And then basically, what we do is we just suck it up. It will go in here, keep this into the uh, the sump, so the water will go through it, but all the dirt will catch in here. So what we'll do is we'll uh, plug it in and we'll start filming it, and um, I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, and we're back. Uh, we've got the pump here. What we're going to do is, as you can see, there is all the detritus just over there, all in this section. All this is going to be coming out. So what we'll do is we'll just rest this pump in here, like so. And what we're going to do, get it going in here. And then this uh, filter bag that I had, spare, I'm going to wedge that just in there. So it's not going to come out and I'm just going to wedge this down the bottom here. Just down here like this. And what we'll do is we'll plug it on. And we'll see how much detritus this takes out of here. We'll see how it goes. And as you can see guys, straight away. Straight away there's something coming out of here. The good thing with this is it's only going to take out small particles. It's not going to take out any of the large particles. So... That's a good sign. Uh, just gonna keep giving it a bit of a hoover, like so. And you can actually see the actual stuff in the pipe has been sucked in to it, right through here, like so. So far, so good. So stay tuned guys, and I'll see you in a minute. Hi right, guys, just been uh, vacuuming it for about, maybe about 10 minutes, 10 minutes or so. Moved the, uh, the sump, cleaned it completely, the sump. And as you can see, look at all the detritus there. That's just basically come out of the aquarium. As you can see, this is all that's going to go in our in our sumps at one point. Just look at that. Yeah, detritus, nitrate build up, sand, everything. You know, all stuff that we don't need in our tank. So, overall, impressions on the uh, the new CJ uh, Nano. I think it's an overall. It's a pretty decent. Uh, Decent bit of kit, especially you know when you're doing your maintenance and stuff like that. You uh, you know you're gonna uh, need some. It's always handy to clean your sump, and rather than you know I used to suck it out just with this tubing, and it's just an absolute nightmare. So having something like this is overall is a really good uh, little investment, and for the price of it, you know I think it was about sixteen pounds, and then twelve quid for the thirteen pound for the actual uh, vacuum part. So you're looking at twenty five quid. You know, twenty-five pound for thirty quid. 
is absolutely nothing for a, a little piece of kit that'll keep your sump clean and maintenance down. So what I'll do is uh, I'll quickly uh, show you the uh, nano tank in a minute once I've just cleaned up here. And uh, yeah, I'll have a little bit of a talk over the nano before I go. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then, guys. All right, guys, and we're back at the uh, we're back at the nano tank. Just thought I'd do a little little update on this nano tank. Um, we seen on my last videos. I did uh, fragging, some fragging on my tank, on my main display. Basically, I went a little bit overboard with the uh, with the zoas. Um, all of these are all new zoas. Um, all on the frag racks. They're all resting, and as you can see, we're looking at like five, six, seven, eight heads of zoas. Basically, I went to cut a piece, and it snapped half of it. So, obviously, it wasn't meant to be, but uh, it is what it is, and. Uh, They'll all grow back, but I've got loads of candy canes there, um, some uh, sonic flares, some gobstoppers, and some uh, uh, some of the flame in uh, the uh, utter chaos. Couldn't think of the name of it then, but yeah, everything else is all doing really well, especially this uh, this this torch that I've put in here. Definitely. Uh, the best thing I did was to put this torch in here. There's a little Blenny. One of the uh, the guys recommended calling him Oscar, so I think that's what we're going to call him. I think that's his new name, Oscar the Blenny, so we're going to leave it at that. But uh, yeah, starting to make an appearance, guest appearance, more and more often. He thinks he's going to be getting fed. That's what it is. But I've got a nice big chunk of Hirasuta here as well. All the uh, barley green slimer is all looking really, really good. Um, the styloporo that'll just grow that's just like bomb proof the styloporo um, and that gold uh, tip acropora at the back has finally recovered it's starting to grow more and where it was uh, being eaten it started to overgrow so really happy with the way that this tank is coming along all of these zoas are all coming out really really nice really happy with the way they're colouring up um, and obviously they've adapted extremely well to the alkalinity if we're looking for the uh, anemone the anemone is just over that corner there as you can see he's walked from here and he's somehow managed to get over here I don't know how um, but yeah he's settled down there so as long as he stays there that's the main point for him and he's actually got his bubbles still so Really happy with the way this tank's coming along. It's looking really, really nice. Uh, didn't really think it was turn out as good as it has done, to be truthful. Um, but it has, and I'm fairly thankful for it. Here's little Ronnie and Reggie ready for uh, some food. So we'll get some food on the go for them. But yeah, just a little uh, overview of the tank. And this clam is looking fantastic. Beautiful colour. These cameras just doesn't do it any justice. Um, just like most cameras don't. Um, I did do what Reef King said and dip these uh, blue hornets, but they don't seem to be doing anything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a water change on this tank in a minute. Um, got the drum mixing up with the uh, 10 litres in it. And we're going to uh, do it. And just before I do it, I'm going to dip that again and see if it works. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, what I'll do is I'll just take you in here for the, uh, the main tank. Um, as you can see, it's all cloudy. That's because I've just uh, vac the sump, and obviously the sump has pumped uh, some of the stuff, the detritus stuff, all back into the tank. So if you're looking, it does look cloudy, but uh, it'll colour up and it'll get better. Um, and yeah, everything in this tank is looking good, looking healthy, looking bright. Um, so yeah, really happy with these the colours in here. Everything's all growing well. I'm glad that this settled in. This rainbow chalice. This is uh, a stunning piece of coral. Colouring up really, really nice. Really happy with the way that is. Uh, all of these Montiporas and also the bounce mushroom is doing really well. The jack o' lantern. All of these zoas. The clam is just growing huge, huge, huge. Um, and yeah. Everything else, guys, is looking really, really good. So, just thought I'd do a, another quick update and uh, 
an unboxing um, so hope you liked the video click the like and the subscribe if you did remember to, uh, to uh, leave any comments below I always get back to you every one of you guys um, you guys make the channels um, and basically I appreciate every one of your support you know your comments your negative points everything I just love everything about it you know we all learn in this hobby and uh, like I said we learn by our mistakes um, but also we learn by fellow reefers as well so uh, yeah like I said thanks for watching the channel also don't forget to uh, what join us on our live stream our live streams every Friday night it's gonna be on one of our uh, channels myself um, bit the bearded reef Jay's real reef UK or fish palace it's gonna be on one of our, our, our uh, platforms on our web YouTube um, so get over there on a Friday if you fancy it 8 p.m. I'll grab yourself a drink and come and join in the chat and the fun it's always a good uh, a good laugh and a good joke and uh, we all enjoy it and a lot of the people well take uh, a lot of the things on board and uh, yeah we just generally have a real good uh, good banter with everybody so get over there on Friday so thanks for watching guys once again and I'll see you uh, I'll see you Friday night cheers